All right, guys. Uh, happy Sunday. I just wanted to go over. Um, we went ahead and used our new um, the new way cutters um, for and did a three angle valve job on our little home D DIY one. And you can look at to get some more info from Woodward Equipment. That's where I got them from. They're one of the recommended dealers. Um, if you want to do three angles, um, you'll need a couple cutters because obviously you, you can these flip over. So you got two angles on one, and then you'll have to get like a sixty. You can do a five angle, but you'll have to get, um, you know, you have to get a couple more cutters and then you'll have to get the uh, pilot. I ordered a 11 30 seconds pilot, um, but that was, this was too tight for my guide. So um, I got, um, then I had to go back and order this one expands. Um, you just twist it and it tightens up in there and that one works good. So I would recommend just to go ahead. Um, this It's about twice the price as a regular one. So without guessing, and having to send stuff back or what have you, um, just go ahead and get the expandable one. This whole set, um, I don't think this has got the prices on it. It's just uh, that's a packing slip. But anyway, they're not cheap. Um, the pilot was about 50 bucks, and the handle's 10 bucks. And then uh, the single angle cutter, I think, was like 100. And then and then the double angle, obviously, is like 200. Then they have ones with. Um, three card by cutters on them and then they have the five-way ones which they say are um, are better because it's uh you know you got more even pressure apparently or you know it keeps it more concentric but the three angle one is five for your uh, for your bottom and your top cut where you're not uh you know where it's not a ceiling uh the surface like the 45 but anyway uh, you can go on woodward equipment and check out all of their guides this is the bare minimum what you need really uh, minus that You'll need the expanding, you know, one of the uh, pilots. You'll need the T-handle, and you'll need your cutters. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what we were able to achieve. Um, if you can look here, there's there's our 60 degree. And then this is where I hand lapped in the valve. So that's our 45. And then the shiny spot above that is the 30. So, um, and then I've got the little vacuum tester. And we, we ran a little vacuum tester that I made. Um, there's, obviously I didn't come up with this idea. I found it on YouTube also, but there's a little, if you have a compressor, you can get this air operated vacuum pump. Um, this is, was only like $16. And then from here you modify, um, this is a hose that would go up to hook up to your AC on your, on your car's ports. And that's what a lot of people use these for is to suck the uh, refrigerant out of your out of your AC system for servicing. So this is like 16 bucks and then this hose was like 10 or $11. And then you take that, you cut the end off and you put a, a valve on it. Um, so you can cut the vacuum off and then that'll that'll uh, show your leak down percentage or you know how fast it's, how fast it's, how much it's holding vacuum. So you'll have to tee off of here to hook your little vacuum gauge up, which I already had one of these. So you just need a T and then you need a hose and you just got to make a little plate, a little vacuum plate with, uh, you know, like that, that was oil that was sucked out of the valve guides. Um, so I just made a little plate out of some plexiglass I had and I went, ran up to the Ace Hardware. This little fitting was $2. And then I ordered the uh, closed, the closed uh, cell foam off Amazon. You know, that was, you got, got a whole box of it or whatever, but all you need is a little sheet like that. I'm sure you can go to the hardware store and get something. And then, uh, you hook this up here, then it creates a vacuum. Switch your uh, switch your valve on, and then it'll start pulling a vacuum here. And then you just and you just switch, then you just flip the uh, valve there and watch it um, come down. And I've got a little video of that running. Um, it is noisy because it does um, the, because the compressor is running. But I'll, I'll show you I'll show you that real quick. But these all seem to seal up real nice. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what we got there on our on our new way cutters uh, three angle valve job. So again, there's the 60, the 45, and then uh, the little top cut there is the 30, um, which blends right into the chamber. So that's pretty nice. And then there's the hand left in the valves there. So uh, turned out pretty good. They all held vacuum pretty well. So I'll post that up real quick here. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good weekend.
Alright guys, sorry for the noise, but as you can see, it's pulling a vacuum. And then we uh, you have to switch it here. It's on the intake port. Switch the valve off. And you can see how well it's holding a vacuum. Sorry for the compressor noise, but just wanted to show you. Still holding a vacuum. And that's with no spring on it. So, I think that is doing pretty good. Just popped off. Anyway, uh, that's the update for today. I'm going to keep testing these valves.